So what's up? It is uh, Monday, and so Easter's over, right? Easter's we get to over. celebrate it next year. That's right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what's that cool is, is every jokes. Sunday. Jokes. Jokes. Every Sunday is a reminder of Easter yeah. Sunday. Mm -hmm. But every day is a reminder of what we're doing every day. Yeah, exactly. And so so that's kind of our, as we close up, man, I've had a blast doing Me too. these. And, Me too. and, and as, we, as we close up, that's what we're trying to get us sneaking towards is that <laughs> Easter is not something we celebrate once a year. It's, it's not. And so uh, but we're just going to read Luke 24, the very end, the last two verses, uh, just to kind of springboard into this. But it says that uh, Jesus has just ascended, right? Um, I'll just read verse 51 too. It says, uh, and while he was blessing them, he left them and was carried up into heaven. And after worshiping, worshiping him, they returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And then listen to this. They were continually in the temple praising God. So it wasn't like they marked it on the calendar and said, next year on this day, we're going to continually praise him. Yeah. Right? Think, about, think about this. Think about this for a second. Jesus, according to the people outside and around the temple, their Messiah and their teacher and their king had just died. Many had seen him resurrected and alive. But many in the town and the temple still were... They didn't believe it, and yeah. they literally went to the temple and praised Jesus. Yeah, crazy. And preached, and could continue. Mm -hmm. So, it had drastically changed their fear to being fearless. Mm -hmm. But they went back to the very place where it started and praised God. Mm -hmm. So, like, can you imagine what yeah. the conversation is like? Why are you praising God so passionately? So Jesus is alive. Saw him. And can you imagine it? Yeah. It's, I mean, because it literally, like what we said yesterday, a resurrected Jesus changes everything. Everything. And that is a, I've never really thought about that. What would their temple, yeah. what would their temple worship have looked like, yeah. say, two weeks before yeah. the death, burial, and resurrection exactly. versus now? Yeah. It's probably a lot different. It, it is a lot, a lot different, different, right? And uh, oh, that's, that's a good thing to think about. It was. Yeah. I mean, in, in the people in that temple, we tend to think, oh, all of them must have experienced it. Very likely, not all of them bought in yeah. mm -hmm. to this thing because many doubted. Many of them are written off Jesus. Many of them, the last thing they remember is Jesus' death on the cross. Yeah. And you know, and there, here comes those people again, and now they're worshiping God, yeah. continually in the temple, and they won't stop worshiping this Jesus. Yeah. They won't stop talking about this Jesus mm -hmm. alive. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and I think as we, as you continue to read on in the New yeah. Testament, right? Yeah. It's the idea of the resurrection. Is, is it, I think it's fair to say it's literally everywhere. Everywhere. It, it is. Yeah. And it's and it's just something that, and that's where I think we, we wanted to, in our inspiration, inspiration <laughs> behind doing a Monday one, but it's, it's getting us to think that yeah. way, is that, man, the resurrection should shape the way that I see the first Sunday in June. Every time. Right? Every time. Um, and so I know one thing we ought to talk about a lot that we mentioned beforehand is a um, having a resurrection perspective. Yeah. Right? That in light of the risen Jesus, in light of that, that has to change the way that I approach life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it has to. It, it has to. And so, so even in you know, I, I love Eli, uh, who's been on guest on our podcast before. Eli. He, uh, I love. He preached a sermon one time, and he, I remember him ending it so well because he was saying, "If Jesus has really risen from the dead, it's not crazy to tell your friends about it, right? <laughs> right if right. Jesus has really that's risen right. from the dead, it's that's not right. crazy to come to church twice a week. That's exactly right. It's not crazy. It, it, it begins to change everything, right? And so, uh, so what do you what do you have on that? I mean, do you think? Kick it over to you. How can it change? <laughs> Kick it over to you, Steve. If, 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 because the resurrection is true, yeah. literally, there is there is nothing there is nothing you 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 can't do for Christ. There's yeah. nothing you can't say of him. Here's the thing, and and everything is true that mm -hmm. he said and did for us. Yeah. And everything. And here's all. Oh, and what's crazy is because he's alive, and he has authority over all things. Everything he says, you are. Mm -hmm. You are. And everything he says about anybody throughout, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. So you no longer have to speculate on stuff. Yeah. It can, it just, it's down deep. Mm -hmm. you, it's, I can, if God says this is who you are, this is who, you, who are. you are. God says this is who I am. Yeah. This is who I am. Yeah. And I, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. And if God tells me to do something, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And then here's the deal. It literally gives you the the courage mm -hmm. 
to think, I mean, think about this, because you've heard this. Yeah. You know, most people, they're, they're, they're afraid of pain and death. Dude, we just watched our Savior endure massive and pain yeah. and death, and that was not his end. Yeah. Which means it's not going to get not you. End for us. Yeah. So what? What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, you're 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 ultimately invincible, and, and you're scary to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It's intimidating to a lot of people. A person that will that'll worship Jesus with everything, mm -hmm. and be able to. You know, love their enemies yeah. and do good for those who persecute them because you're like, what you gonna do? Yeah. Because my king promised me I'm, this is not my end. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's, I love what you talk about that it, it affirms what Jesus said is true too. Because I think uh, this came up in the office the other day. We we're talking about Abraham, right? And he's about to, he's about to sacrifice his son yes. because God told him to. Yes. And he, as in Hebrews, that, that lets yes. give us the insight that yes. Abraham believed. That even if he went through killing his son, yes. that God could raise him from the dead. Exactly. And so it's like, okay, even if God, even if we feel like this is a crazy thing that God's yes. called me to do, yes. or maybe, and maybe that is something as simple as like stepping out of the lunch table yes. and sharing your faith, yes. you know, something like that, is is believing. And if Jesus really rose from the dead, yeah. I, I don't got to be scared of this. Exactly you know, right. I love um, Andy Minio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he he writes, "How do you terrify a man that ain't, that that ain't scared to die?" That's exactly how, right. how do you terrify him? You, you know, and uh, I think Paul's the, one of the best examples of this in Philippians one, right? Yeah. When he's sitting there and he's walking through all these scenarios, he's like, "Bro, I can be in prison. You can release me, or I can die." And I literally win in every single one of those yeah. avenues. Which you know? now think about this, because today one of the biggest issues in the life of a lot of people and a lot of students, mm -hmm. and, and this is going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just giving you a heads up, trigger Great. trigger warning. Trigger warning is anxiety. And if we truly allow ourselves to understand how incredible it is that you have the risen Savior with you in you, anxious? Yeah. Anxious. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what is there to fear? Yeah. And um, so I, I always wonder, and I, and I think, you know, anxiety is a, is a legitimate thing, mm -hmm. but I think that if we preach the gospel and preach the resurrected life to ourselves, man, that, that would have an incredible way of giving yeah. you endurance. Mm -hmm. you're, nerv you're scared to go into a new place, Christian? Why? Mm -hmm. You're scared to be shunned? And to Why? Yeah. Yeah. We did a, we did a series last, month, last fall called Fear Not. Oh. And, um, and looking, addressing that and talking yeah. about the issues of anxiety and stuff. And, and we took a lot of Old Testament examples. And, and that's where we ended up because I love... Luke doesn't record this, but Matthew reports it. Yes. It is Jesus about to send into heaven. What's yes. the last thing he says? He says, go, and he says, I am with you. Exactly right. And I know I mentioned earlier, uh, if Jesus would have said that before he died and he'd stay dead, then that means nothing. Nothing. Right? Zero it, It's like, you're with me? Okay. So you're still on the ground, bro. Still on the ground, you know? bro, yeah. But, but saying that post-resurrection, yes. oh my gosh, he, he, he is. is. He is. Yeah. And, and so, and it says, go make disciples of all nations, so don't fear any group of people. Mm -hmm. Uh, and literally baptizing them in who God is, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and then literally teach them to obey. So that means our job is not just to go live a really obedient life. It's to teach others to obey Jesus. Yeah. So Christians lovingly teach people to follow Jesus' commands, to love God and love others. So when you see people not loving God with their actions, instructing them, and then when you see people not loving others, man, if Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself, teach that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's our that's our command. And his words. Yeah. His words. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, so the resurrection matters this Monday as you're listening to it. Yes, it matters it just matters. as much today as it did yesterday. So live on, man. Yeah. And when you come on Wednesday night, when you come on Sunday morning, that's right. let's just let's stink celebrate. and rejoice, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's that's right. And so, uh, man, so I, I know, man, if they don't enjoy this, I've, I've enjoyed this. Because it's good to reflect on these things, right? It is. It's it really good is. To think about. And what's neat is it's, it's a cool opportunity for maybe some of our students to just get together, maybe with not a camera in their face or a microphone, but just get around the Word mm -hmm. and say, what happened? Yeah. And just allow yourself to be just excited by the Lord what he's done and who we are in him because it's a it's a great encouragement yeah cool i enjoy it bro
Thank you. So celebrate Easter tomorrow and then the next day. And the next day. And the next day. Keep going.